Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a good start to your first week back from spring break. Um, thank you to all of those who've already turned in your assignments from the first half for the TED Talk. Um, haven't had the opportunity to look at any of your responses yet, but I'm going to be doing that today and looking forward to see what you have to say. Um, so today, what I'm going to talk to you guys about is the second part of your unit, which is creating a blog. So I'm going to go through how you're going to create a blog, all of the steps that's going to take, and then your assignment for your blog that's due tomorrow. And then you will have an additional assignment that is going to be due on Friday. So this is the part that's due tomorrow, Thursday, April 9th. So the first thing we need to do is you need to know how to create a blog. Um, so we're going to run our blogs through Blogger, which is attached to Gmail. So first thing you want to do is go to blogger.com. Uh, it's going to pop up like a blue and white screen, and then there's going to be an orange button that says create your blog. So you want to click on that. Uh, so next, it is going to ask you to choose your PUSD email account, which is run through Gmail, and you will be asked to create a display name. So this is potentially what the name of your blog is going to be. Um, so just put something down. As you can see, I wrote down that my display name is the Corona Chronicles, since very timely at the moment. Um, the requirements for your display name obviously must be school appropriate. It can be creative or it can just be your name. It's really up to you um, and what you're comfortable with. You know, if this is something that you've been wanting to do, but you just haven't been sure how to get started, you know, make something interesting. I honestly, I sat here for a few minutes and I really had to brainstorm what I wanted to say. What do I want my blog to be about? If you're really still struggling with a creative blog name, uh, take a look at this link here, namegenerator.org, and it will give you um, the opportunity to put some stuff in and it will pop out a blog name for you if you're really struggling. So I came up with the Corona Chronicles as my blog name. So once you've typed your display name, you're going to click continue to blogger. Um, next, you need to click create a new blog. Um, so it's going to ask you to create a um, the title, the URL, and the theme. So these things are very important. You must have them in order to kind of make it to the next step so then I can actually see your blog. So I came up with the title for my blog, which is The Corona Chronicles, Mish G in Room 215. So I tried to kind of do a little play on words and make it a little rhymey again. You don't have to do that, but if you want to be super creative with your blog, which I will love to see, um, you know, it might just take you a little while to think of this stuff. Phone a friend, ask somebody to help you. So the next part is your address. So this may take you a little while. It took me a few minutes to figure out how to do this, but basically this is where you're creating your actual URL to your website and, um, make sure that it matches your display name so it's has something to do with what you're blogging about um, you may have to try different variations because basically what you're what's happening here is it's actually searching the web to see if anybody has the same as yours so i just at first tried typing in uh, Corona Chronicles, and obviously somebody's already trying to blog about Corona, so I couldn't use that website, that URL. So then I had to be a little creative and kind of mesh some of the things that I've been doing. Um, I also took out my periods and any type of colon or apostrophe. Uh, just keep it blank. Don't put any periods in it. Um, that was not also not working for me. So I have that my address is Corona Chronicles Miss G to in two fifteen, and then it should say at the bottom, like it says here on my picture, I have to zoom in because I'm blind. Um, this blog address is available, so you're looking for it to say that. After you are able to find a URL that fits and is available, then you're going to pick your theme. Um, 
So I picked just a random ethereal theme, but it's whatever you want. You can just click on one for right now and later you can go back into your settings and you can adjust that if necessary um, and pick a different theme out that maybe fits you or maybe if you're super um, techie and into this, you can even go online and like download themes probably. So there's so many options for you. Get creative with this, have fun with this. Um, yeah. So go to those settings. So this is optional, obviously, if you really want to get personal with it. Um, on the left sidebar, click on theme layout to personalize your blog. You can fill in as little or as much information as you want. Um, and then you want to click on the view blog option. So once you create your blog, there's a view blog option. So you can kind of preview what your blog would look like to other people. Um, you need to go there and you are going to copy and paste your URL, or excuse me, just copy your URL address because today I'm going to be posting a discussion question where you need to um, post your URL. So I have access to it so I can see your blog, I can check on it um, because you will have blog posts due every Friday. So yeah, congratulations. After you get all that done, you're a blogger. Now, that's not the only assignment that you have today. So if you take a look, there's actually a second, um, second page to this document. So this is gonna be your blog web quest now. So this assignment is to help you understand what a blog is and maybe what other people blog about if you're not really into the whole blogging. You know, a lot of influencers have blogs if you follow them on Instagram. Um, some of the influencers that I follow on Instagram, I've been following their blogs for 10 years. So they actually have a blog. It's not just their Instagram account that they keep up with. Um, what do those look like? Maybe see if some of your favorite influencers have physical blogs. If not, just Google search examples, best blogs of the year, best gaming blogs, teen fashion blogs, animal blogs. Topics are endless. Um, you need to search for three blogs about any topic that seem interesting to you. Then you're going to take notes on those three blogs that you found below. So the first blog that I discovered is called, so not only do I want the name of the blog, I also want the URL too. Um, so I can click on it and take a look at what blogs you're interested in. Um, you need to answer what do you like about it, what was a post that you liked, and what was it about. And it's the same questions for two more blogs. So again, this is completely personable to you, what you're interested in. Um, topics are endless. There's, so, there's millions of blogs out there for you to take a look at. Maybe you want to talk about the blogs that you look at all the time. You know, if you're somebody that's really interested in blogging and you have people that you already um, visit, I'd love to see that kind of stuff. So with that, this is your assignment that's due tomorrow, which is Thursday, April 9th. And then you have a blog post, which I will be talking about in another video that's due on Friday. So don't forget also you, we have office hours from 1 to 1.30 tomorrow. So if you have any questions about this document, um, please log in, let me know, email me if you have any questions. And yeah, I think that's the big stuff today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and I will hopefully talk to you all tomorrow. Bye guys.